Hello and welcome to May's edition of this month's experiment at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Peter Soy. We're going to have lots of fun with musical instruments, and we're making one that I like to call the clothespin kazoo. I'll explain what you're going to need for this experiment, and Nicole will walk you through it. Remember, you can download instructions for this experiment at our website at rhfleet.org. Today for our experiment, you'll need two rubber bands, a clothespin, and some tape. Does it have to be masking tape? Well, it doesn't have to be masking tape, but we're using tape today. When you try this at home, you can try it with different types of tape and see what different types of sound you get. Great, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is break apart your clothespin. And you don't need this metal piece, so you can throw it aside. Then you're going to take one side of the clothespin and wrap both ends with tape. So you see I did one side, now I'm going to do the other. Great, now take that side and wrap a rubber band around it. And then you're going to use the other half of the clothespin and put the two flat sides together like so. And then wrap a rubber band around the entire thing. And this is what your clothespin kazoo should look like. And then all you have to do is blow through it like so. So how does this work, Peter? Sound travels in waves and it makes vibrations. When you blow, you're pushing air through the rubber bands and causing them to vibrate. These vibrations travel into your ear and then they bounce off your eardrum. These signals then get transmitted to your brain where they're identified and you hear the sound. Thank you, Peter. And thanks to you guys for watching this month's experiment. And remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.